What is up everybody? Welcome to the channel. It is an awesome day, primarily because it is the weekend. And really, it is an awesome day is because we're gonna test all three of these products that you see right in front of me. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be testing this Fronius Transteal 2200 on Fluxcore. We are gonna be testing Gorilla Tape. And we are gonna be testing Flex Glue. We're gonna be using eighth inch A36 steel, and we're going to weld them, glue them, or tape them, just like this into a T-joint. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it through three destructive impact tests. In the first destructive impact test, we're gonna be using a bowling ball. The second one, uh, destructive impact test that we're gonna be doing will be a five pound sledgehammer. And the third impact test will be a weighted guillotine on all those different joints that are either welded, taped, or glued. The question is, which one do you think is gonna work? I have my thoughts on what's gonna work, um, but some of the infomercials make it seem like the other products are gonna work. We got the flex glue, and it typically takes, uh, flex glue cures in 24 to 48 hours for maximum strength in seven days. We're not waiting seven days. So we're gonna take this cap off, just like so. We're gonna take this. We got our mini me's next to me. We got one, two, three. And here we got Carter right here. He's gonna be welding one specimen. Are you ready to do this or what? Okay, hold on. All right, hold on. All right, I got my, uh, my cheater lens. All right, let go. Let go. Good job, dude, yeah. Oh, you're way off the line, Gray. There you go. Oh, you're too fast. Just go holding it. You done? Yeah. How old are you? I'm um, six. Four? No, five. <laughs> you're four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got all three of our test specimens done. We have the weld, we have the glue, and we have the tape. I'm gonna let the uh, glue dry for about 24 to 48 hours before we actually test anything. Here you can see the uh, self-shielded flux core weld samples. The, uh, you can see the back. The back is where my kids welded. So there is gonna be some variation in some of these plates, but it'll still work. Here we have the Gorilla Tape. And the Flex Seal glue samples. Whoa, 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 whoa. This right here is gonna be our guillotine. So I had a water bladder tank that the bladder on the inside popped. So it started holding water on the inside. You can hear it. So I'm gonna pull this up to my garage and weld those I hook somewhere on there and then we're gonna use this as like a guillotine with some ropes yeah it's a little heavy Woo -hoo. All right. let's drag this bad boy all the way 
to the garage. Hopefully I don't get dog poop all over it. That would be pretty nasty. Let's get this going. Mostas, it is day two, and we got a special guest. We got Ty Bob in the, his house. Here we and, go. And it's my youngest brother. <laughs> He's gonna help me with building this little guillotine for the destruction test number three. So I welded these hooks on. We're gonna hammer them down, or Ty Bob's gonna hammer them down. And then we're gonna finish welding these up. And then these pieces of steel that I have. What we're gonna do, we're gonna weld them to the front just like this, and then we're gonna ground down the tips for like swords or the pinpoint. That's what we're gonna do right now. Stay tuned. <laughs> Probably not gonna get rid of all that. Right? Yes, far as far as we go. It's official. He is putting on. The milky cereal hood. And he's welding. <laughs> and there's nothing much to it. This is where we're going to put the weight. Welding up the bull nose. That's what we got so far. All right, nice outside corner. Now what we're gonna do, we got all the braces in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bevel these down because it is a guillotine. So we need a sharp edge because we need it to guillotine a watermelon. That's our goal. Here we go. All right, watch your toes, Greg. Keep going, man. Let's see it. Oh, you missed. Oh, you missed again. Hold on. Let's set it back up. You got to hit it right there in the sweet spot. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Here he goes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Good job. Three, two, one. Go. Ooh. Is it breaking yet? Not yet. That was a good shot. Hold on. Link, watch out. Three, two, one, Hulk slam. Ooh. That was great. Three, two, one, go. Oh no, you're hammering it down in the ground. Do, 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 Boom. Okay, I took three big whacks at this thing. And what? See these dents? It ain't coming off. All right, that concludes our five pound hammer test. And again, it looks like the weld comes out victorious. Number two is definitely the, the Gorilla Tape, and number three is the Flex Seal Glue. Uh, I'm starting to figure out that the Gorilla Tape is actually pretty good if you need to get out of a bind. Flexible, but it seems to be pretty good coming in number two. What did you guys think? Was that fun? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. All right, Not see ya. And we're back for round two of the testing, and we have my third brother, Drewski for Brewskis. Yeah. This test should be pretty pretty good because I'm going to be on top of the roof, and I'm going to be dropping uh, blocks down while he watches to make sure that I don't fall off the roof. That's really the whole point because <laughs> I don't want Laura to come out, and I'm all bloody on the ground 
and I'm not awake. So Andrew's gonna be my savior or Drewski for Brewski. But what we're doing is we have the X. X marks the spot and we're gonna be dropping boulders on each three of these. So welded, Gorilla Tape, Flex Seal Glue, and we're literally 40 feet up. You ready for it? Yep, we're ready. We're ready for it. Hello, everybody. Hello. Woo! There's my brick. And I'm going slow. Slow, slow, slow. All right, X marks the spot. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Direct hit. Oh. Is it damaged? No. The wood is. Three, two, one. Oh! Direct hit, bros. And it broke. Broke it. Yeah. Test number two, we got the Gorilla Tape. Who thinks the Gorilla Tape's gonna win? Boo. Boo. What do we got out here, Drew? Boo, boo. All right, here we go. Who's ready? Me. All right. Be very, very careful. Three, two, one. Tape. I need yeah, to be more accurate. Ready? Yeah, Who's ready? Dad. We're ready. One, Three, two, one. Oh, my. The girl tape didn't work. <laughs> Maybe it won't. Got it. How smashed is the it? The girl bit. It smashed. Oh. Who's ready for steel? Yay. All right. Direct hit. The last it didn't broke. It didn't broke. All right, we finished all three of those. We did the glue, we did the tape, and we did the weld. Thank you, Drewski, for Brewskis. Yep. He saved my life. <laughs> and I'm a little sweaty. That was a workout climbing on the roof with 30 pound uh, retaining wall bricks. But you can see here the glue. Epic fail. The tape. Uh, the tape, not so much. It did rip right there, but if you had to get home, you could get home. And the weld, it's dented, or the place dented, but the weld's still intact. Ty Bob with Flex Seal. Three, two, one, go! Oh. Take number six, go! Oh, sh. Well, now that we figured out the height and everything and the trajectory of this, what did we call it again, Ty Bob? What was this thing called? We called it a guillotine, a but guillotine. it's not right. It's not a guillotine. What is that thing, that pendulum thing that goes like this? I guess we made a makeshift pendulum guillotine. All right, that's what we're going to call it. So, Ty Bob got a direct hit, and if you see here, we tack welded it to it, and look how loose that is now. You can see it. See that? Direct hit equals fail. With Gorilla Tape, take one in three, two, one, go! Oh! Double hit. Oh! Go! With the Gorilla Tape, it's a little loose. But you can see it's not ripped or torn or anything. I even welded it to that thing. So I'd say, worst case scenario, if your tie rod or something ended up breaking, you could at least get out of the jungle.
I say uh, Gorilla Tape, at least second place so far, and Flex Glue, obviously last. Now the weld time. On the steel, in three, two, one, go! Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, direct hit. Oh, for three on the steel, three, two, one, go! That, my friend, was a big hit. We hit the steel plate literally like eight, eight, nine, ten times, and it's still tacked on there. You can see we got the nicks. I would say welded one. Gorilla tape took number two because the tape never ripped, and three was flex glue. If you do like my content or my videos, please hit that subscribe button above, like button, and share with friends. You ever had a dream?